Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. We're here in the Kronos searching for Tetramon bases to eliminate to get the Crimson Harvest reward so we can get these really nice Iron Blood skins. Um, today I've actually been having a really big trouble finding any sites at all. I've been going through so many systems trying to find the Tetramon sites forever and not being able to find them. Until now, we can see that there's a system in the, or there's a base in the system of Da. And Bane, yeah, down to Bane. And hopefully this will not be taken the moment we find it because there's a high risk of that. Oh, we've got some people here that are orange, but hopefully it'll be all right. Uh, what kind of corporation are these guys? These are fraternity. Okay, it should be all right because I think it's just they're marked because of my corporation being at war, some related corporation being at war with them. Because I've not actually been able to do a single site in this corner so far. I tested it out previously, showed you guys against the Crimson Harvest sites, or the Crimson Gauntlets, the Blood Raiders, and it works really well. But I'm more interested in the Tetramon sites because we need those to be able to progress in the uh, the uh, skin, uh, like these skin rewards. Because we won't, if we do Blood Raider sites, we won't get any points. Only Tetramon ships destroyed is able to be achieved by going to Tetramon bases. Oh no, someone's already. Someone's already here. Please, no. Let's see how many wrecks there are. Loot. Oh, there's a lot of wrecks as well. Come on. The one site we find is already taken. It's typical, typical, typical. Any more? Nope. Nothing nearby. Let's see if we can. Yeah, we're not going to get any challenge progression here because. There's like it seems like there's hardly any sites left, or there's not sites, but there's hardly any NPCs left. Let's go here. The acceleration gate. Yeah, I don't think that anything's going to happen. Well, we can just see if we can take some NPCs. Look at that! That all these NPCs are destroyed here. And go in the next one. He's already in the last wave. Yeah, Galente Advanced Cruiser Wreck. Oh wait, there's a Galente Advanced Cruiser Wreck. Were they destroyed? Oh, he might have been destroyed. He might have been destroyed because it seems the Galente, there's a Proteus, wasn't it? And then suddenly there was an advanced cruiser wreck. Let's investigate. Ooh. I wonder what's happened. I'm usually not happy when uh, I don't I don't like to see that other people get destroyed, but he helps. And secretly is slightly happy <laughs> if he did get destroyed so we can get some kills on these uh, NPCs. Let's see, what have we got here? What happened here? Has there been a... Destruction of a Tech 3 Cruiser? Yeah, there has actually. Wreck of Proteus. That Proteus wreck is uh, empty because it went into the mobile tractor unit. Okay, so we'll take out at least some of these battle of battle cruisers. That feels a bit... Oh, that's so sad for that guy. Uh, we'll have to take out these uh, oracles just so we can get some progression towards the challenge but unfortunately there's not so many NPCs left that we can't you know get the uh, the challenge completed because then this but the next challenge after this is a uh, one that involves destroying a battleship but we're not able to do that because we have to, to complete this challenge first and then the battleship for challenge so it's a bit of a waste with this uh, battleship we're not able to we're not going to be able to like take advantage of us destroying him to making progression towards that uh, the challenge and in fact it's basically no difference because if we find a fresh site we're easily going to be able to destroy 10 ships it's just in this case that we're not able to do that that's unfortunate unfortunate let's see what have we got here uh 20 million is hardly anything good let's go towards different systems see if we can find anything but i've been just having a really big trouble finding any science recently it's not at all been a nice experience because I've just been going around like look at this look how long I've been going around for just flying around like a headless chicken in a battleship as well very slow hmm not being at all pretty nice okay let's go and see what happened here we're going in the kill board you can maybe see what kind of ship he was using system of what is this Dant Bane I don't see any kill logs in the Z-Kill if I'm looking here. It's curious what fit he was using, but these sites are not really made for cruisers. Even good cruisers will have a hard time because of how much damage you can get here. These are made for battleships. 
Okay, next system. Wouldn't really great if there are 10 NPCs there because then we could get both challenges, both the NPC quest but also the the battleship one that comes afterwards. Yeah, nothing here. Feel sorry for that guy that he lost his ship. The tech three cruisers are usually not that cheap as well. But probably it's better to invest in like a tech three cruiser instead of that is invest it into the to basic battleship like a Praxis it would be a lot better. Because just a lot more tank or brute force tank. Depends a lot on your fit as well, but a lot of damage should have an easier time. But I understand how using a cruiser is going to feel very nice because you're unable to be going around a lot quicker between system to system. Because this is not at all nice what I'm doing right now, just having to go from gate to gate in this big bulky battleship that warps at, was it, 2.5 AU a second or something like really slow. Oh, 100 AU as well. Uh, Crimson Gauntlet. Oh. You only find Crimson Gauntlet, seriously. I think that people only want to do the Tetramon basis because they want those skins, that's why. We're not making any progress towards this. I just noticed a bit of, a bit of stress as well because it's like and only until the 1st of November too, so it's not like it's going to be around for a whole long time. Oh, that's unfortunate. I want to at least get the Retribution. I have a feeling I won't be able to get the Paladin, but maybe at least the Retribution we can get. Those are the only ships I'm probably interested in anyway. Retribution and the Paladin. I've got a good skin for the Paladin, but the Retribution would be nice to have. So we'll maybe have that at least our goal to get the Retribution. I think that'll be a good goal. We should be able to get it until the 1st of November. Look how long it's taking for us to warp to that one gate because of how 100 AU away. Crimson Gauntlet, Crimson Gauntlet, Crimson Gauntlet. We're just finding Crimson Gauntlets, nothing else. Nothing else at all. I'm really surprised how difficult it is to find these Tetramon bases because I was finding a lot more before. Initially, the first day, I think people weren't really bothering doing the site. Now people are getting like uh, a hang of like, oh, you do these sites and you get the good skins. That's probably why a lot of the more of them being done. Or it could just be I've got bad luck as well. That's also a very big possibility too. But seriously, like look how long I've been going around for like over an hour. Long time, I'm not finding anything. Now it's very you know disheartening when you just go around like this and just don't completely find nothing. Like when you got, also it's not that I've got a cheap ship as well. I mean, it is a cheap ship for Marauder like this fit. Uh, let's just do this Crimson Gauntlet. It doesn't seem like we've got anything else to do though when we're all the way out here. But the ship here, I've took this through Udama, and Udama is a high gank system, so there's a high risk of ganks and. It was pretty risky, <laughs> and then having to fly around so much always doesn't feel nice. Those 90% PvP loot drops, but I mean, it's what you have to risk to be able to get the isk. But I uh, just wanted to get those skins done. Hmm, I wonder if perhaps a Macario would be good because Macario would be nice in that it can just go around really fast, a really fast warp speed. We have 3.5 AU, okay, it was not as slow as I thought. 3.5 AU. Do we have any gate keys? No, we don't have any gate keys. Oh, it's Shepherd, okay, Bastion up. Destroy these guys real quick. It'd be really easy to get the Tetramon skins, but the Iron Blood skins are very, very difficult. Let's destroy these guys. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. No problem. Yeah, there's really no Tetramon bases. Trying to find everywhere. I've, I've been going through all through Kaldari space now. I'm way, I made my way all the way to Minmatar space. Not finding any Tetramon bases anywhere. I just want like one or two just to get some progressions. I feel like today I've made some progression towards the getting the skins, but no, nothing at all. It's not at all a nice experience. I don't know if you guys have been having the same experience too. The Burry's got pretty potent webs there webbing us. Because I think the naturally the Blood Raider ships had the web bonuses. I think it's web range? Web range or web strength? I think it's web range because the Serpentis have web strength. Even the Grappler were not able to hit him. Hmm. Tracking speed maybe? Come on, let's get some grazing shots. Take him out. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Use the acceleration gate as soon as he died. There we go, let's go. But I also think it's unfortunate that these events have these skins being the only way to get them. And I get it that it's a big, uh, you know, motivator of doing the event. 
but knowing that there's probably going to be no uh, no way at all to get these skins apart from this event is a very like you know i think like, okay i have to do this now otherwise you're never going to get that skin especially when it's a skin you like because i really do like these iron blood skins i think they look very intimidating and very cool looking skins so it's just for me this is really one of the more important events not only do i like these i like these uh crimson gaul and tetrum on sites events because they're battleship based events in high sec that earn some decent ace i like them these are this is like my type of event you could say then combine that with big skin rewards Oof. this is something that i like a lot okay take out that guy thank you very much take out this guy too one shot and we'll grapple him a bit pop come on do some damage neutron blasters no i'm missing okay there we go takes a bit of time for the grappler to work its way into getting a good uh, you know, speed reduction on these guys especially the frigates that go naturally very fast destroyed 2k volley glances off as well just just glances off shot 2.1k volley and we do volleys really quickly too let's destroy the savior and there we go i'd like to keep an eye do any sites respawn reload miss uh, they're not missiles the neutron blasters we can put an armor repair cycle our tank is really just uh, there's no problem at all with our tank here like we barely have to even think about our tank because we've got a decent buffer i've got this fear has got 1600 millimeter plates so we get a pretty decent buffer from this just on one or two cycles here and there and then we just tank it perfectly fine destroyed I think you can also get some decent uh, loot from these uh, wrecks here. I've not been bothered to get them, but maybe we should try getting them and see if we get anything decent. Because we have got tractor beams. As you can see, do we get anything decent? Scraps. Scraps. And there's some bad stuff. Destroy these guys here. Frigates, well, we didn't even need to use the grappler to destroy that one. Just one shot at them like no one's business. <laughs> Yeah, the current is an absolute beast for these sites. It's just unfortunate that we're not finding sites because now that we've got a really great ship to do these, just not finding any sites at all. My guess is that a lot of them have accumulated in uh, high sec islands in the middle of nowhere. Because I was actually DD hunting uh, a day ago, and I did actually in the high sec island encounter a couple of uh, Tetramon sites that I was like, oh wait, I actually need these, but never mind, I've not got a ship that's made to hunt these. Uh, these sites. I need a battleship for that. Yeah, K won't do the job. Okay, I should have disengaged that bastion cycle a bit early, actually. Do another armor repair cycle. Okay, activate gate. And we're in the last room. Oh, it's just very frustrating not finding any Tetramon sites. Oh, frustrating, frustrating. Like, we're just getting half a challenge, not even a full challenge, just half a challenge is done. Bastion up. Let's get to work. Here we want to use optimal range because it'll be a bit better to, with uh, the range script. No, we didn't switch. I was thinking it was going to switch. After 20 kilometers is actually better with null, and if we're, especially if we've not got the optimal range script, then it'll be even less. Uh, probably after 18 or something kilometer range, then we'll be better with null. I'm just using it because I can't bother to have to switch from this guy to this guy. Like ammunition types, just want to use the same all the time. And it seems like Void takes care of these guys pretty well as well. Take out this Harvest Prophet. Easy. Harvest Cleric. No problem. Harvest Follower. Let's see if this Medium Wreck has anything. Maybe it could have some more loot because we were only examining the Frigger Wrecks before. So I think that could be perhaps the reason why they weren't uh, giving so much good stuff. Oh, I don't want to shoot. Oh, I grappled it, but I didn't want to. It was good, really nice that I didn't shoot it by accident because it happens many times in that triglavin hunting that, and when I'm managing wrecks at the same time I'm shooting stuff, I accidentally shoot the wrecks. It's like, oh, I want to loot that. Just destroy it and blow it up <laughs> mid combat. Okay, there was nothing in there, just a basic Valkyrie. So it doesn't seem like these wrecks are worth it. Maybe they could drop something. I mean, sometimes these uh, wrecks do drop skins in previous events, but sometimes they also drop nothing. It's a bit random from event to event. Take out the Harvest Follower diviner and harvest savior harvest exsanguinator i thought it was extinguisher but it's exsanguinator okay that's a complicated word okay we need to start shooting oh, thank you okay so we should be getting the battleship now because it's on the third wave the battleship usually spawns in 
and I'm unfortunate for that Proteus over there because we're just going to destroy the battleship before we even need to launch a single armor per cycle. That's how powerful this ship is because the amount of DPS and buffer we have is enough to just take him out directly. So, okay, whatever. We just destroy this Harvest Overseer. Don't even have to think about using our armor repair because of how quickly he'll be going down. Like, look at that. No problem whatsoever. Uh, he's almost dead now. We basically took, like, what is this? 20% armor damage. Lock up, lock up the wreck, lock, lock, wreck. Thank you very much. And just grapple him in. And we can stop with the Bastion as well. Do not need that. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Cronus is so great for this. Just so great. An amazing ship. I'm going to open this up. What was there anything? Uh, Nosferatu booster. Ooh, that could be... Ooh, that's actually... No, I think it was 16 million. I think what? That's... Uh, High price. Oh, it's this hard shell, those four. Whoa, whoa, that's a lot of isk we got there. Because some of these boosters can be actually worth a lot of isk. Well, that's pretty profitable, actually. 60 million isk, and that was 10 minutes and 10 minutes. That's very, very uh, good amount of isk per hour if you were to consistently get this. Obviously, you wouldn't because it's very random what you get. But, oh, very good isk, very good isk. <laughs> I'm happy about that, at least. But I'm not happy about not finding Tetramon sites. Oh. Oh, I'm going to have to do more exploration later, see if I can find something to get at least that Retribution skin. It would have been great if we could get the Paladin skin, but I'm starting to feel like at this rate, it's not going to happen. Um, losing hope. <laughs> Maybe there's a slither of hope that we can get it, but I'm feeling like the way we might not be able to get it, at least with my time schedule right now. So, a quick Crimson Harvest, and also half a Tetrium on site too, may, may, was able to make some progress towards destroying some ships, but uh, unfortunately we weren't, because there was the Proteus who did the, most of the site, and he unfortunately died. Allowed us to get some kills in the battleship wreck, but uh, it was not enough to get the challenge completed, because actually I'm more concerned about the challenge than the loot itself. But it was at least fun doing the sites. I think these sites are very fun. It's not so fun not finding the Tetramon sites. That's the main issue. If you guys have got any tips how to find Tetramon sites quicker, let me know in the comments down below. But I feel like it's just a bit random. Maybe there's specific locations that could be less populated that I could perhaps try exploring a bit more. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.